everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is a video that I was going to make last year and it's actually two videos I was going to make last year that I forgot to film or I just didn't feel like filming them because I didn't feel like it. But today I'm going to show you guys my Inktober uh, 2019 stuff and I'm going to show you my May art challenge from last year. So let's get right into the video. So I wanted to start off with the Ink 2019 instead of the May because the May has more meaning in it other than this one. This is my first time ever doing the Inktober. It was suggested by my brother to do it and I was like, oh, why not? So each of them has a certain picture with them with the topic and then it has a quote that so is at add quotes, but this was my cover for it. It was Inktober 2019. This weird thing, it says, you never know what you might find. And then the quote by Vince Van Gogh, there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people. Beautiful, right? Now, I am no artist. I just like to do what everybody else likes to do, sometimes play around. But the first day it was ring. And so this is the ring of someone pointing at a ring display. Yeah, not great. I'm not great with fingers stuff, but here's the quote for it. The best thing to hold on to in life is each other, and that is by Audrey Hepburn. The second day was a uh, mind list, and I was thinking of like, am I not good enough anymore? Like your soul leaving your body after being heartbroken. Yeah, I don't know what came of that, but the quote was, one original thought is worth a thousand mindless quotings. And by this name right here that I do not know how to pronounce. And then this is the third day. It was bait. And I was thinking of like when you're in the dark and you need to find the light to get away from monsters. To get us the bait to us and see these are the hands and the monsters. I'm really sorry if the lighting all of a sudden looks super weird and flashes around. My camera is being really sensitive. But it says, give me air so I may breathe, give me a voice so I may sing, give me a heart so I may love, give me a light so I may live. Day number four was freeze. And I was thinking about time and how it has been frozen in time. So I drew a nice little watch there. It was my first time drawing something like that, and I thought this one was the coolest far. And then what well, was something you will never know the value of it. A moment until it becomes a memory by Dr. Seuss. Now this is where it starts to turn into like just my ideas. The day was number five, build. And so I was thinking of we need to build each other up instead of building each other down. So that way we can go up in life of going down in life. So just like building each other up, each other down. Good mountain, bad mountain, you know. Just whatever good things we build. And up building us by Jim Brown. Now I'm not exactly sure what this one was, but this was for day six. I'll put the the days that are on here. I forget the days so easily, but this is husky. And not, you would think, why don't you just draw a husky dog? I'm not really good at drawing dogs, but I did a paw print, and then it turned into something like this. And I was like, eee, because, you know, some of them have some, like, dark meanings in them, or whatever. And then this one is, each morning we are born again, what we do today is what matters most, and that's by Buddha. Day number seven was Enchanted, so this is a nice picture. Sword with the crown, let's battle to see who becomes the king, or what, you know what I mean? It's beauty is a heart inflamed and a soul enchanted by Kali Gibran. I don't know who that is, but it was some quote that I really liked. Day number eight was frail, and so I thought of um, older people and how frail they are, and so I did a can't been left on the side so it's been gathering dust and webs and uh the beast in me is caged by frail and fragile bars by johnny cash johnny cash is a little old day number nine we have swing so yes of course i did a tire swing and a regular swing reflecting 
in the water was my first time doing something like that with reflection and I didn't know how well it was going to work out so that was the result of that and it says up above a small child swings blanked by angel wings when she rocks all heaven sings a lullaby of love by Christy and Martine. Day number 10 was pattern and so I decided I would do a quilt. I wasn't very fond of drawing on this day to be exact and so the thing was I don't trust words. I even question actions but I never doubt patterns by my life page. Yeah I don't know what that's from. And then the next one we have here is day number 11 which was snow and of course I was in a hurry so I just did some snowmen which honestly looks so bad compared to all the rest of them and the quote was really tiny snowflakes are kisses from heaven by unknown and then we have day 12 which was dragon so I actually tried to draw a dragon and he ended up being a little chubby bubby because I used to be able to draw dragons really well when I was like 14 or 15 but now I'm not so great at doing that anymore and the quote was one does not need the size of a dragon to have a soul of a dragon but Robin Hobb day number 13 was ash and so I was like oh yeah let's draw a fire that worked so well. I had a hard time drawing a lot of these because I like using color and everything and for me to do just do it in black and white to put it along with the ink and ink over it was really hard because I wanted to color everything and it says my young life burnt alive the poet from the ashes but the word came from the fire by Atticus from How to Kill a Mockingbird. And then the last one that I have that I actually did, because I didn't do all the days, of course, because I got busy, was, what was it? It was overgrown, and so I was thinking a way of a person, life, how they start out young, and then they grow up in life, and then some people choose paths to work lives, or uh, they go to college, and they succeed, meaning that they have a happy life and live to the fullest, or some people, they choose bad things like drugs and alcohol and they end up dying of a bad disease or whatever and I did not have a quote for this one why I don't know but that is the end of the Inktober I think I might do it again this next coming Inktober I still got a long ways away because it's only March but yeah let's get into the May challenge all right here is the May challenge and when that's what the May challenge is, is I had, I have a book that has lists in it and one said May art challenge and I was like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. I want to do it because I had tried doing it many years ago and I was not the greatest little artist at the time and I'm still not the greatest artist. I just love arts and crafts. So I decided to do this. Fair warning, there is a lot of characters in here that tried to redraw and they did not turn out the way they were supposed to. So don't blame me for them for being bad, that's just my way of putting it. And I had to change up some of the things. And I want to be able to do this again, so that's why I'm posting it now, because I am switching it to the April art challenge that I will be doing in April. But it will have uh, different words and some the same, but some of them not the same. So let's get into this. Before getting into this, I am sorry if I sound very breathy, or out of breath, or I'm talking really fast. I do not have a lot of time, and I am sitting on the floor, which is not always the most comfortable position for me to be in. So you can see my feet over here. Hello! So the first day that I have is, uh, day was Create Doodle, and so I decided to do this as it was in a quote, because I want to be forever young. It was a song that I was listening too and I really liked it and so I put a lot of things from my childhood in the background like uh, the Viewmaster uh, slides you know and then there was like a fortune teller um, flashcards math flashcards uh, there's hopscotch chalk and then you have those like 
lines for when you're learning how to print your letters in kindergarten and then like the drinks that we had when we were younger like uh true mil milk the uh i don't know what these things were called so i don't have it on there we had like huggy barrels we had bug juice uh just a great life to live day number two was draw and so of course here's my first character i was going to use him for something else but then i guess i lost him so i had to redo him this is wreck it ralph if you know he's from the wreck it ralph movie and this is my interpretation of him and the quote was there's no one i'd rather be than me it's a great movie and i really like drawing him he was pretty easy to draw and uh to be honest with you i i tried my best with this face but it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to be but it's the best that I can do day number three was paint or colored paper and so I actually went out and I had to buy watercolored from the store of Crayola uh, to actually paint because I haven't done water paints in forever and so this was really fun it was really hard because paper got drenched so quickly but I used to go chill your grill because I say that a lot at work and so yeah that's what it looked like and it's smeared just a little bit because of all the water that I had so yeah the fourth day was paper blank paper or use a different type of paper so I actually used this back on a like a shopping list kind of paper and I what I did is I wrote kind of like a little comic in life I love him never dies from like being young as a baby to like growing up and being disgusted to prom to be married to, to elderly life and then like being so in love that you guys have your gravestones right next to each other and i think that was so sweet day number five was the first of the colors which was red so this is a red character it's elastigirl from the Incredibles 1 and 2. It says your identity is the most valuable possession. Protect it. And I kind of ran out of black. So that's why it looks like that. And I couldn't get the eyes correctly. So I just colored it all together. So it kind of looks like a blind Elastic Girl. And she's a little fat. Number 6 was crayons. Where I could only use crayons in it. And of course this was one from my... Uh, art challenge that I did when I was very young. So I did the alien from Toy Story. And so I said, let's recreate it. So I redid it with crayons again, but this time it looks like this. Now I did have a little bit of help with tracing it with pencil, but other than that, I did a pretty good job trying to make those two look very similar. I think that the second time through was better than the first time. Day number seven was notebook. I used a notebook paper and I was just like playing around. So yeah, that kind of got a little out of hand. But look at that cute little smile. Aww. Day number eight, we have the color orange. And so I thought of Tigger. I actually had to go look up uh, the thing for him and his uh, TTFN Tata for now from the Winnie the Pooh series and this is what he looks like I kind of did the wrong kind of orange because he's supposed to be a little bit darker but you know you gotta do what you gotta do now this one I kind of messed up on because this was day number nine with was chalk and I should have just done a chalk drawing also I didn't take a picture of it but I did it on paper this was my phone that I did with chalk and it did not turn out the way i wanted it to i did have a quote on the back it says you are braver than you believe stronger than you think and love more than you know um by winnie the pooh because i had been watching winnie the pooh when i was doing this so i did that day number 10 was sketch and you would think sketching is just doing a plain draft and i was like i can't do this without color so i ended up coloring it in it was just like I don't know what you call it, but they're in a photo booth. I don't know who they are. I know, I guess the girl's name is Lucy based on it. I don't know where I was going with this. I have a very creative mind. Day number 11 was the color yellow. And so of course I thought of Tweety Bird and it says, I thought I thought a booty cat. 
by uh, the Looney Tunes. And I think this was the easiest character to draw. Because, you know, how could you not draw Tweety Bird? Before I show you the face, the day was number 12 and it was characters, so I picked from my characters. Uh, just to let you know, I do characters because I have quotes that I do. Because I did a whole bunch of these for a different project that I've been working on for years now. And I've been trying to avoid all the hard ones, but I ended up doing this one for the character thing. It says, even miracles take a little time by the fairy godmother from the Cinderella movies. And get ready for her face. Yep, that's the face. I know, it looks a little weird, but that's the best I could do. Day number 13. Once again, I had one of the old art challenges with markers, so I tried doing Pikachu, and it's not the greatest when you're using yellow and then you do black, and it smears all over the place, so here's the new version of it, which I think is even better. Tell me what you think, which one was better. I think the second one was better. It's very updated-like. Day number 14 was a classic rainbow, so of course I loved drawing rainbows when I was growing up, so this was very easy for me to draw except I did not draw it in cube-like. I don't know. 15 was whiteboard markers. I think this was probably one of the easiest for me to draw because I didn't have anything in mind, so I kind of did like a mosaic kind of pattern. And it was very fun and weird at the same time to draw, but you know, I wasn't very sure what to do with wiper markers. Day number 16 was green, and of course I drew Bemo from Adventure Time. I did him in the wrong color though, and I made him a little bit too tall, but I have drew him more than once before, so he was pretty easy to do. And then his quote was, when bad things happen, I know you want to believe they're a joke, but sometimes life is scary and dark. That is why we must find the light. Super cute. Day number 17, we had color pencils. So here's from Old Color Challenge. Uh, it was Cubert. And this is the old one. And so I improved it. color pencils with this. Yeah, I think the second one's way better. I, I love it so much better than this one. So day number 18, it the word was shade, but I read it wrong and I thought it said shack. I don't know why. So I drew my version of a love shack. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. This is so weird. Day number 19 was pencils, and of course, I had another one from the old art challenge with the firepower from the um, Mario Brothers uh, games. And so that was that well, that one, and I updated a little bit to this one. And I think this one was way better. I just love it so much. Let's go back to basics. Basics and the Mario Brothers. Day number 20 was handwriting and um, designing stuff with your name. And so I took every single crayon from my crayon box and I colored my name into like a rainbow shade. And this one was a lot of fun to do. It took a lot of time. And uh, this is my actual name. If you have not met me yet. Hi, my name's Hannah. Day number 21 was the color blue. And so I drew everybody's favorite Cookie Monster. And um, he's from Sesame Street. And the quote is, uh, Friend something better than uh, chocolate ice cream. Maybe friend someone you give up the last cookie for. Which I think is so sweet. Day number 22 was pens. And of course this was from the old challenge. And I think... This one's better than the updated one because I kind of messed it up. And so this was the, the updated one. 
and I kind of messed it up a little bit with the way I did it and that squirrel looks hideous. Day number 23 was permanent markers. It was different from the regular markers and of course this is from the old challenge. Pac-Man apparently I did not have yellow markers when I did this one. So here's the updated version which I think this one's better because of the ghosts. I gave all the goats personalities but yeah I, I don't know why I made Pac-Man seem like such a mean person to the ghost people. Day number 24 was right only using words so I used the quote uh, the Van Gogh quote go out and paint the stars and um, I really like this. I don't know how I thought of this. I was thinking about like outer space and painting and how much I really wanted to paint and I love the color scheme to this. So this was day number 25. It was names. So I did my family. I'm only showing you the bottom part because I have my last name on there but this is my family and I was thinking of, like ladders and this is all our favorite colors. And then I have Cat, my mom and my dad above here. Day number 26, I had to do things with objects. So, of course, I used uh, school objects. School's out for summer with pencils, paper clips, um, rulers, erasers, and sharper. I don't know what made me think of that. It was really late at night when I was doing this one, so I kind of just wanted to get it over with. So, it does a little bit look a little bit more trashy than the other ones. Day number 26. 27 was the color purple, so I did Rapunzel. This is venture out of your comfort zone. The reward are worth it. I don't know, that sounds really messed up in the way that I wrote it, but that's the way it was called. It was from Rapunzel from the movie Tangle, and I kind of messed up on her face really badly, so maybe I'll blur it out, but maybe you'll have to see it. I know it's really ugly. Day number 28 was the color pink so I did Piglet from the Winnie the Pooh series and it says sometimes the smallest things take the most room in your heart and I have to think of me and this is Piglet I think that he is so cute I don't know why his head is crooked like but that's just the way it is now I had a hard time thinking of um, someone for day number 29 with brown for characters but then I was thinking, oh, I could do Barney from the Flintstones. So it's, you're afraid to tell well, Mario. you? I had a hard time finding a quote for Barney. Because I would have to watch the show to find quotes for Barney. But this is what he looks like. It's from the cartoon one. Some people know him just from the movies. Of, like, the live action ones. But this is the cartoon version of Barney. Day number 30. Getting really close to the last one here. Uh, I was to have a small object. So I did like a small drying of like flowers and butterflies, just freehanding along, trying to get it done. So it's the happier you are, more the more beautiful you become. And the last one that I have here for day number 31 was to use pastels. I just use all the colors, and I do have pastels, but I didn't feel like using them, so I just used all the colors. And these are quotes from all all the TV shows that I have watched that I really liked, like. I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate from love from Chandler being from friends. Um, it says, okay, let's get organized, make it fast, make it uh, sna snappy, and if there's any impulse buying, make it chocolate. Lori, Lorelai Gilmore from the Gilmores. Uh, Gilmore Girls. Uh, Pick me, choose me, love me, but Meredith's grave from Grey's Anatomy. Um, I'll let you go once and I'm not gonna let that happen again by Rachel Berry from Glee. I have not watched Glee in so long. Uh, I do not fit in. I, f I fit it out by O oh, from uh, the cartoon series of the adventures of Tip and O. I know it's like a kid's show, but I really love it. Um, as long as I'm around, nothing bad is going to happen to you by Dean Winchester from Supernatural. Um, this one, Killian Jones, but most people have 
taken t takes to calling me by my more colorful name uh, Hook who was by Hook by Killing Joes um, once upon a time I tried watching it again but it was not greatest um, Oh My Lanta from Dr. Fuller from Fuller House and yeah that is the end of my coloring thing did you guys enjoy that video? I sure hope you did because I had a lot of fun coloring and just doing arts and crafts. I know this video took forever, but please be on the lookout at the end of April for the April art challenge. You won't want to miss it. Make sure that you like this video. Also, subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell so you get notified from whenever we're not being lazy. Also, comment down below which of these was your favorite or if you were an artist. I am not an artist. I just enjoy arts and crafts. Also, make sure you go follow on Instagram at you pretty little thing and bacon the cat. And we will see you guys again for another video. Bye!